Sustainable tourism for Tagaytay City is to give uh, the positive impact from the tourist uh, dahil nga sa uh, isa kami sa tourist destination. So we have to sustain minimal cost for the environment at kailangan namin maipakita na kahit anong development through the tourism, hindi namin napapabayaan yung environment sa Tagaytay. Dahil nga nagpapasalamat kami sa nature dahil naging window si Tagaytay ng Baal Volcano kasi ikaw ma-experience natin o kung sino man ang pupunta dito napakaganda naman talaga ng, ng view it's a very a scenic view talaga a perfect view for a Taal which is dito mo lang talaga siya ma-experience yung traffic namin hindi consistent so yung traffic namin mararamdaman lang during the lunch time and the dinner time so yung aming population nagta times 3 uh, times two during the long weekend, the holidays, which is nagdadaanan lang talaga kami para kumain, matikman yung masasarap na food na ino-offer ng mga restaurant dito sa Tagaytay. So, kung nakikita nila yung magandang view, which is yun yung hindi mababayaran talaga. Para may philosopher na nagsabi na you can track, you can know the culture of a place through their food. But with Tagaytay po, since Tagaytay is famous with bulalo, with tawilis, and other local uh, dishes, yun po usually yung hinahanap nila. Filipino food po kasi, it has a lot of stories. So parang kapag Pilipino ka, yung parang the story behind the food na kinakain mo, yun yung hinahanap-hanap nila sa food na sinaserve ng siglo. Kapag may dumarating yung mga, kaming mga bisita dito sa Nurture Wellness Village, of course, first, ang hinahanap nila is yung, yung healthy foods and of course, secondary is the taste of those foods. Po. Yung mga food namin dito sa Nurture Wellness Village, we're really considering them as healthy and delicious kasi unang-una, well-selected yung mga ingredients and reliable yung mga source namin aside from the farm. Sourcing of the ingredients, sa ngayon po, we're, tri we're really trying our best para talagang yung mga main ingredients is ma-provide namin, ma-produce namin. Actually, it has a big difference, no? Kasi yung nabibili natin sa market, hindi natin ganun kaalam kung gano'ng katagal yung vegetable doon. Ang kagandahan dito, dahil may sarili tayong tanim, alam natin kung kailan natin tinanim, alam natin kung kailan natin pwedeng i-harvest. And as a wellness chef, sobrang importante din sa amin yung word na fresh. Kasi mas mataas yung high content uh, benefits pag fresh talaga siya. We are very picky on the ingredients since we are serving our own food, Filipino food, and we want it to be sustainable enough so yung ingredients will have to be available within the perimeter of the hotel or perimeter of Tagaytay. That's why we put up this farm called Siglo Kalikasan. So Siglo Kalikasan, we source our vegetables and other ingredients to our own farm. Uh, bali yung food waste po ni Siglo, uh, dinadala po namin siya dun sa farm. Pinaprocess po namin siya sa vermiculture para maging natural fertilizer sa mga plants and vegetables namin dun sa farm. Regarding the food waste, meron po kaming uh, Bokashi area. Yung mga leftovers, uh, nire-recycle namin and turning it into fertilizer, nagagamitin pa rin po namin yung iba. Kapag uh, marami yung production, binabenta rin po namin sa retail. Kasi uh, yung mga nagiging guests naman po namin, interesado rin kung ano yung ginagamit namin sa halaman, doon sa mga regis namin. So, meron pa rin through the community na sila nagde-develop sila ng farm tourism, which is locally doon na lang kinukuha ng mga restaurants yung mga supplies nila ng mga vegetables and other herbs na isineserve nila sa restaurant. Kasi una, mas maliit yung cost and mas natutulungan din nila yung community. We have 34 barangays at sila yung nakakapagbigay ng mga ganong items dun sa mga restaurants dito sa Tagaytay. Meron ng ordinansa for the no plastic dito sa Tagaytay. So, inayos na namin yon at hindi na sila talaga gumagamit ng plastic. Merong din mga restaurants na they use papers na rin, even dun sa mga packaging nila. We have the strong relationship with the private establishment, with the restaurants and the local government. And through the community din, so mas madali kaming nakakatulong sa kanila with their suggestions din at kung ano yung mga ginagawa nila on their own. When we talk about sustainable dining within the restaurant context, we talk about trying to change four areas within their operation. Number one, 
using less plastics and reducing food waste. Number two, managing the resources more efficiently. Number three, using local sourcing. And lastly, creating healthy and more sustainable dishes in their menu. Farm tourism and sustainable restaurants are actually some of the practices being promoted and encouraged now by the Tagaytay City LGU. Like Nurture Wellness and Siglo, they are actually doing composting and food waste diversion techniques already. And they are practicing farm tourism, they have their own farms, and they are very active when it comes to attending our training, especially the Serve Our Planet training, wherein we teach them on more sustainable practices within which they could implement in their restaurants. We want to promote best practices, especially practices that are backed up by the studies that we are doing. And lastly, these restaurants also serve as a venue for Filipino diners to practice sustainable dining, especially the farm-to-table concept that we have. And this is what the Sustainable Diner Project is actually encouraging. Ngayon po, the plan is to use bamboo straw. Before po kasi, we're using yung paper straw. Kaya lang, kapag kumakain, syempre nabababad kasi sa tumbler yung straw. Yung paper straw po kasi natutunaw. So, hindi rin siya ganun kaganda. Regarding sa Sustainable Diner Project, uh, we are now into looking for more guests that pwede namin i-share kung ano yung mga nagiging practices namin dito. We're also looking for other places kung saan pwede pa kaming mag-join para to learn more about sustainability. And uh, through this project, hopefully, mas marami pa rin mga tourist yung pumunta. Kang Lokal, Sarap Sig Lokal is our campaign. At ito po yung pinopromote po namin yung mga local produce from the local farmers, local delicacies from the local community. Meron po kaming Siglocal Ambassador. Parang they are the, the one who is in charge encouraging the guests to go local, to try the local products, Filipino cuisine, and to promote sustainability in their own homes. Uh, the Sustainable Diner Project between Siglo po and WWF actually first is yung full awareness dun sa sustainability status of our environment and yung awareness sa food waste, kung saan napupunta yung food waste, Kasi actually, this project is just part. So, kailangan mag-start muna kami with Siglo and to be able to spread the great project to the to the guests and other diners sa Siglo Modern Filipino. With the Sustainable Diner Project, uh, me personally, very enthusiastic with that. Dahil mas marami kaming matututunan, mas marami pang kainangang ipakita sa mga tao na, na hindi aware, marami talagang hindi aware kung ano ba yung sustainability, even sa mga owners, even dun sa mga taong kumakain, kailangan talaga natin silang ma-educate. So, with this program, malaki talaga yung maitutulong. Mahirap siyang explain kasi unang-una hindi nila alam ano ba yung sustainability, ano ba yung magiging effect nito sa kanila, ano ba yung um, i-impart nila sa kanilang restaurant o sa kanilang establishment. Pwede natin gawin na madali through the students hanggang sa paglaki nila para habang bata pa lang talaga maintindihan nila yung sustainability.